Cock and bull stories. We've all heard them. Hell, we've probably been out drinking at the bar and told half a dozen of them ourselves to an unsuspecting audience who actually believed we had a friend that it really happened to. Tonight's cock and bull story starts in that exact location. A bar. It's a classic story. Boy meets girl. Boy buys girl a drink. They hit it off. They have a great time, share some laughs. Maybe one last drink at her place wouldn't be a bad idea. So the sparks fly. One more drink leads to one amazing night of bedroom Olympics. When the alarm goes off in the morning, saying goodbye is tougher than anticipated. She has to leave for work, but she really likes him and tells him to make himself comfortable. Have some breakfast, a shower, leave whenever you like. Just shut the door behind you. So, after a bowl of corn pops and a quick shower, he gets a case of what the Germans would refer to as the beer shits. And it's a bad one. The kind where you'd want to give yourself a courtesy flush. If the toilet worked, of all the modern day conveniences, plumbing decides to take the day off. It can't be fixed no matter what he tries. In all his franticness, he does find a Ziploc bag and a pair of latex gloves. He gets to work until he successfully removed all of his own excrement from her broken toilet. Naturally, the next step would be to remove this bag of dilapidation, ASAP. But wait. He really likes this girl. He would very much like to see her again. For the life of him, he can't remember the last time he's felt like this about a girl. Their night got so hot so fast they never exchanged information. So he stops to write her a letter that read something like, I had a great time last night, blah blah blah, thanks for the romp, call me. Success. He walks out the door, shutting it behind him, confident and cool. A new man. What a night. What a girl. What a... Shit! Literally. In a bag. Sitting on the table next to the note with all his contact info. So what did he do? Nothing. It was too late. The door was closed. He doesn't know how to pick a lock. There was no way to climb up to the window. He was unequivocally shit out of luck. And what became of him and the girl? Also nothing. Would you call a guy who left a bag of his own feces sitting on your kitchen table? Of course not. Oh well. Better luck next time, buddy. Cheers! <laughs>